What's going on y'all? Welcome back to the channel. Hey man, check it out. Got a great video lined up for you. Real quick on this channel, what I'm about to do is I'm going to teach you how to do PIP or Picture in Picture in Final Cut Pro. Now I did an episode or did a uh, tutorial on this in iMovie and now it's time for me since I moved over to Final Cut Pro to show you how to do it. So I'm going to show you how to do multiple screens of you or anything that you want to do, whether for a music video or whatever, in Final Cut Pro. So right here, right now, on this channel, it's about to go down. So, you ready? Here we go. Let's find the grid. So I made a grid, here it is. I'm gonna bring that grid into the timeline. Uh, let's see. And it's telling me that, great. Stretch this out. Now this grid is here. Okay, now that grid is the perfect size that I need it to be, and each one of these boxes is the perfect size for every screen. Now, let me show you what I do, and this will really do it. So, we're going to take this, uh, we're just going to grab a piece of footage. We'll take this one right here where I'm playing drums, and we're going to bring it and drop it on top. All right, so now when we drop this on top of that grid, you don't see the grid anymore. No problem. We're going to go over here, click this, click on our thing highlighted and oh wait wait I'm not on it there we go make certain our curse our our playhead is actually on the video uh, and then we click here and it gives us these lines I go here I know I'm doing a lot real fast just bear with me we're gonna shrink this and as we bring this in this will come down to the size that I need and you saw me go past it and then I open it up and now it's the perfect size for the video I know right then I can take this, and if I wanted to move it over here, maybe I just wanted it to sit here. I put it over there. Maybe I want it here. You, you get the point. So I can put it where I want. Now, remember, this is a, a static, flat picture, and I just stuck a video on it. So what happens when I press play? If I press play, or I'm gonna big it, make it big for you, if I blow it up, all of a sudden now, and now I'm playing. And that's how you do it. How in the world do you get the rest of those videos in there? This is how I do it. We're gonna just grab one of these guys here. I'm talking here. We're gonna bring this, we're gonna grab it and drop it on top of the video that we already had. So we take this video, we do the same thing. We shrink it. Now imagine if I was singing, right? We shrink it, and I'm going to put it in this corner up here. We shrink it, we get it to where we want it, and we got our size. And now, when I press play, I'm in both screens. Just that fast. I'm in both places. Let me turn that down. I just want to make sure that I don't hear anything. But there you go. So now I'm in both places. Both screens are in place. And I can see this was a little too big in the corner. I can actually go in and shrink it and get it to the size I want. Make certain it is sitting exactly where I want it to sit. But now I have two different versions of myself on screen at the exact same time. Let's say I wanted to make this guy hit this this foot pedal side get bigger in the middle of the video this is where some of the editing tricks come together for your music video watch this what i'm going to do is i'm going to go let's say right here where my foot is going just that spot where i see it moving let me turn that off so you can actually see it uh my foot is moving there right but i want i want the whole screen to be taken up just by that foot this is one way a quick way of doing this I'm going to cut this. What you do is you highlight it, and I'm going to cut it, and I'm going to go across to where I want to stop, and I'm going to stop there. Now, let's go out a little bit further just for the video here. I'm going to highlight this, and I'm going to cut it. Now, once I cut it, this is where it gets fun. All I do is grab this guy here. I no longer need him. Now, I could have I done this another way. Trust me, those of you who know how to use Final Cut, there's another way. But I'm just doing it an easy way for this. And I'm going to delete that section out. So now, when I get to that part, let's bring it back up so you can see it. It disappeared and came back, right? Now, watch this. I'm going to go down here to this guy. I'm going to put the cursor back on him. And when I'm going to go up top, I'm going to hit this button again so that I highlight and I can get to those other features. And now the foot takes up the whole screen. So now watch what happens. I'm going to go back a little bit. I'm going to press play. 
Let the video run. Watch what happens when it crosses that. So here we go. It's playing. It's going. The foot is there. But now I want the foot to get bigger. And let's see. Here it comes. It's coming up. You know, it never goes when you want it. Here it comes. Right? Boom. And now it's bigger. And then it's going to go back small. Watch. In just a second, it'll drop back down. And that's how you do that. All right, y'all, thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, listen, I hope you got something out of that. I'm going to also do a video on the grid. So if you haven't watched the video on the grid, make certain that you click the little thingy up there. I have one for iMovie. It's the same idea on how to make the grid. So I'm going to make certain that you see that so that you can make the grid. And listen, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click the thumbs up. Make sure that you ding the bell and leave me a comment. Let me know if this helped you out or do I need to do another one and slow it down. Whatever it is, just let me know. I really appreciate it. It. Make certain that you subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe. I will catch you guys in the next video. Peace.